what's up guys welcome back once again it is me Malt. so happy to be here with you guys today because we're doing another story time with Malt. I know it's been like a week and a half or so since shoot it might have even been longer uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these but I'm super excited about today's episode uh, it takes me back to I believe it was middle school probably like seventh or eighth grade somewhere around there and my teacher Mrs. Gintz that was her name Miss Gintz um, everybody loved her she was a really fun teacher uh, she allowed us to like mess around. Uh, I got a drawing class because I told her to help me focus uh, So it would open my mind up as I was being creative, whatever. Uh, it kind of did it. It worked um, But today I'm gonna talk to you guys about something that I would always do in her class uh, That would just frustrate her so I would always get there a little bit early uh, just from when or she she wouldn't get there early is what it is So she would get there on time because she had another class. She was teaching. She was teaching me history and I would always hide from her. Now I know this sounds kind of dumb, but it was hilarious. So I would always hide from her. Um, I would hide underneath her desk, and she would always come in. Eventually she got to expect it, to where she's like, alright, I have to find Michael, because I know that he's hiding in my classroom. So she would come in. Uh, one day I hid underneath her desk. She found me there pretty easily. Uh, one day I, uh, I just like hid underneath some jackets in the corner or something like that. That one took her a little bit longer to find me. Uh, all my friends would always like help and like try and distract her and stuff and everybody just thought it was ridiculous. Um, I would hide in the trash, one time I hid in the trash can in the bathroom so I took out the bad bag, put in another bag, or maybe I just didn't even have a bag in there, I don't really remember. And I was a little kid, I was super small when I was... Uh, in the eighth grade like one summer. I think I got like four to five inches like I grew four to five inches um, But so I got in the trash can like this I was all crunched up in there that one took her a long time to find me But then eventually she was like why the freak is that trash can like exploding at the seams? So she was able to find me there, but then one day guys So she always found me before class started which was which was funny because sometimes I could push back the start of class But the end of class always stayed the same so there were these cabinets in the classroom, okay? And they were, they were, there were two of them per thing, two doors per thing, so you could open one of them, and then there was a latch inside of this one, so you would open this one, and then you would have to latch this one open, is how it worked. Now, uh, I was smart for a little kid when it comes to that kind of stuff. I wasn't that smart at schoolwork. If you guys aren't that smart in your classes, Try hard. If you still don't get good grades, don't get like frustrated. Some people are just better at it. Just seriously try your best. Put as much effort into it as you can. And then you'll find something to do. Like I wasn't that smart and now I do this. I've always been creative. So you'll find something to do. But so I was creative. I was kind of a problem solver in that sense to where I could figure stuff out. So I got into the cabinet and I opened this one up and closed it. And I got up into the cabinet like this. And uh, I think we had a quiz that day or something, so she was a little bit annoyed. So I got in there, closed that. She looked around for seriously 10 minutes, guys. And then eventually she came and opened up all of the cabinets, but she didn't open the one with the latch. So she just opened this one, and I was sitting in there like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So she opens the side, looks in, doesn't see me, and closes it. And everyone in the classroom is like trying to hold in their laughter because... They knew that that's where I was. They knew that I was hiding in that cabinet. And so eventually she gets out and she's like, all right, I can't, I can't freaking, I can't do this anymore. We have to start class because we have a quiz. So I sit in there for a couple more minutes just hanging out. And then uh, after a little bit, I just swing it open and I'm like, ah, and she's like, what? <laughs> I looked in there. How, like, how did I not find you? And so everybody started cracking up. It was hilarious. Miss Gintz was a really good sport. Um, but that's that's one of my favorite memories when it comes to trolling a teacher if you will so uh, I did a great job of trolling my teacher in that sense. It was hilarious so much fun uh, Let me know down below about y'all's relationship with teachers if you have a cool one. Who's your favorite teacher? I'd love to know that Miss Gintz was definitely one of my favorite teachers um, So let me know that guys and let me know if y'all have any ridiculous stories dealing with trolling your teacher as well down in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this story time with Mo. If you didn't, make sure that you guys hit that like button for me and I will see y'all in the next episode, all right? As always, guys, make sure you keep calm and you clash on. See ya.